And there we go. You know, Politana Enderman just rocking already yeah. on the PS2. Jules has a little bit of Palu experience, you know, warmed up to it from Tito. But uh -huh. Jen is built different. He ain't like no other Palu. <laughs> Jen is built different. Jen is built unlike other any other man we've seen before. Yeah, and he's just yeah. looking to get on in there. And Jules is already off the bat right now. Doing in the work with the wood tools with the Steve. Minecart racking up that 55 to the 67. And building up those resources, kind of just not giving uh, Paulu the space to just run up on in there. Especially with this phenomenal parry game. Yeah, I was going to mention, oh my goodness. That's basically the equivalent of Pancake Game, but it's even worse. Um, the biggest thing about, about this matchup is that I low don't know how it would fall either way. Uh, have I seen Jen play against other Steves? Of course. But either, either way, it's always like a different kind of game they're playing, you know? Some of them are very rushed on, some of them are very blocky, some of them literally be building houses like they're in creative modes. Like, it, they're all, they all play differently, and the biggest thing that's in common is the minecart factor, you know? Yeah. And can Jen deal with it, of course. And uh, I would dare say this matchup is probably even, most likely, I actually have no idea who favors this, but it's mostly even because Palutena has some really good dual tools to just deal with Steve in general. Really good solid burst options, has that counter that kind of just reflects everything. Yes. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but it's solid. It keeps you off it. At least it will protect you away from Minecart and a lot of Steve's other projectiles. So that is if Jen pulls it out at any point. But the thing that Jen is really good at, oh, besides taking a stock, is of course, or losing a stock, is um, it's just his, his pressure game. And you can see right now, he is not afraid to come in up close when he knows that he has an opportunity on you. Dashing back into dash into dash forward is also just a, a movement thing that he's perfected over the years. Yeah, it is uh, very important to, to just play inside of Steve's Burst Rage. Because when they commit to an option, you can kind of go in there with the Apollo Dash Attack. It's very fast and it's safe as well. You know, we've got that Invincible Shield to boot. Yep. And look at that spot dodge. So good, just avoiding the up tilt and just getting in the damage, closing that space so he can finally get that pressure, shoves a back air in his face, just keeping Steve in the corner and just shaving off that stock with the up air. Yeah, absolutely. And, yo, I I swear these blocks are always in Steve's favor. I can't. They are always in Steve's I feel, favor. I feel like they, they like, Steve magnetizes to them. I mean, you can lab it out, you know, you can make it work for you yourself. You think I lab things out as a commentator? You're hilarious. So secondly, uh, there goes Jen's second stock as well. <laughs> yeah, Jules closing it out with the wooden pickaxe back here. Jen kind of forced to keep Jules at the ledge, getting in the damage with the auto radical, but not really committing too much, seeing as Jules has been just closing the gap and getting good, solid combos on in. But Jen will be falling down with the Nair, trying to go for some conversions off the block. But uh, maybe a missed input perhaps, but... Ooh, a little, a little mix-up in the spot dodge is going to be getting Jen some big boy damage going on. And the up smash Ooh, the up just smash. rocking Jules' world. I love up smash. It covers so much options, for, at least for Steve specifically. Because you know Steve, 9 times out of 10, is going to recover Shimmy uh, horizontally, meaning either with Elytra or with Minecart, you know? Like, it's just, it's just you go straight. Like, and then there's up smash, covers, and that's a whole wall. If you touch it, you're dead. Boom. Yeah, Jules kind of just came swinging on with the fair, and Jen was ready to just beam up that wall yep. of light. The wall of light. You got a wall of dirt. I got a wall of light, bro. Watch this. It's better, and it's way bigger. It's way bigger, and you will, in fact, fall into it, because I can teleport through your wall. You know, it's a little thing like that that, that, like that, that Pablo has. Like, you know how most of the cast has to really work through these walls sometimes? Like, just down tilting over and over again or whatever. Pablo can just be like, all right, I'm going to just teleport to, th through it. Like, what are you going to do? Stop me? You can do nothing. All you, you can do, do is just watch Palu pulling up on you, much like Jen was pulling up on Jules right now. But Jules is already off to the bat, getting that 56 up on Jen right now, looking to end things with the fair. But Jen is just getting out of that situation unscathed right now. And Jen is kind of just going really deep off stage, trying to look for just spikes, look for something. And we're seeing uh, some moderate success with this pressure. Mm -hmm. Not not really getting carried on the stretcher. Yeah, and just, I mean, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> there you go. I, I was just seeing Jen just work towards Palu's, uh, Palu's benefits, at least as a character who, if you have her double jump, she's she's amazing off the ledge. She can down air you and then come back very relatively safely with her teleport uh, and, so, and the jump, of course. But the thing is, and her up air is so good. Jeez. God, I love her up air. Yeah. Just, it works so well for her, just like juggle some characters, like 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 C, for example. 
Because Steve, you know, people will be like, oh, he has like a good disadvantage. No, Steve does not really have a great mm. disadvantage. Especially when you just catch onto their mind cards. I get it. You kind of just, uh, it has armor, wow. but, you know, Jules shutting down Gen stock right there with the F smash. But it has armor. You think you can't really beat it out? No. You, If you know where it's coming, you can beat it out. Steve, he has like two hits on the anvil. So if you can see the anvil coming, you can space your aerials yep. to just hit him as he's just dropping it down. Just teleporting out of the, the fair, you're hilarious for it. Again, yeah. one of the best things Apollo has against Steve is that teleport. You can't really see her. She goes wherever she wants in order to escape your combo, which he just did. So good on Jeff for doing all that. Jules has to kind of work a little bit harder going. I think there's just more minecart setup possibly would be really good. Also just getting some more uh, smash attacks, like like especially up like up smash, I think would just catch Jen a lot, especially um, with its scoop. Yep, and I love that jab. Out of that jab, Jen just got this whole sequence to get 144 on Jules <gasps> right now. Stop. But Jules has no tools, so can't really do a whole lot. Just trying to end things with the TNT, but Jen surviving through the fire and the flames, dropping down a back air and closing out that stock. And Jules is still dropping down the TNTs. What I say? And finally catching the jumps with the magnet blocks. Like, like you say? said, that vacuum scoop. The vacuum Ooh, scoop. Oh, my brain's so big. <laughs> big brain mod. You heard it here. Big brain mod. Oh, my God. Now we have an even game. Jules has done this once before. She has been in a big deficit the entire time. And then she just kind of explodes on her opponent. So Jen has to really pack it up and be the aggressor, perhaps, because now we're seeing Jules, when she's comfortable, she's going to be like, hey, um, I can play Minecraft Steve, and I have funny antics. Oh my god, the way, he falls, what? the way he falls. I love that the little way that, that was so cute. What? Oh my god, that was really funny. I've never seen that. Oh my god. Oh, this is huge. The platform actually aiding Jen and helping uh, build up that pressure against the Blast Zone. Do it again. Jen oh, is just trapping the ledge right now with the back airs. Still keeping Jules at bay with that nair, keeping her in the corner right now. Things are so, so scary. But Jules just comes on swing with the fair, gets the spike. That's a huge punish. And things are looking like it's about to end right now. Get a good old up tilt. Jules is still hanging on with that 129. Jen looking for that opening with the dash stack. Not quite finding it, but he is hanging tight right now. No, Jules might actually, when she's in advantage against the ledge, she might actually take this game if Jen is not careful with his recovery options. Right there could have been a huge punish on the up tilt. We are in such a scramble right now. Jen is still going in the, with the dash attacks, and Jules is hanging on for dear life. Up throw, not going to quite take it off the top. We have 173 right now, but That's we it. get the nair to the good old up tilt for the confirm, and that spells the end of this set. That's the end of the reign of Steve in winners. We'll see so you anyways, losers. We'll see you losers. <laughs> We're seeing losers. So y'all losers got it. Y'all y'all losers run? Yeah. Please Stay grand finals? Grand Stay finals? Safe out there. Yeah, that was a very scary situation for Jen for a second in the last, uh, or I in the second game. Jules had been in such a big deficit, not a big deficit, but a deficit nonetheless, where she was constantly fighting that dark red percentile. And Jen really just became even with her so quickly just because she had she has had the the mind she locked in her mindset she was like i am losing i need to start winning and she was doing it it was just a few missed opportunities to really punish a lot of jen's missed up tilts that she just she just didn't take she was just rolling away away instead and i think it's just nerves at that point you know yeah because like you're scared it's like even, oh man even, i'm losing i have yeah. all this percent if i eat anything i'm gonna explode I'm gonna die like i can't even blame her for for fumbling a, little, a few punishes or punish options she had but it is what it is, because it's winners. Yeah, it is what it is. Right? You got, you you got another. We'll, we'll, see you, we'll see you later, Jules. You'll, we'll see you'll you later. have a really hard loser's bracket. I'm so proud of you.